We are Washington State University, Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, Washington's community-based medical school. Welcome to our Spokane campus. SAC is the center of campus life and is home to many campus resources. This is also where the medical student lounge is and where the large group classes occur for medical students. This is where various offices for WSU Health Sciences Spokane are, including financial aid, the registrar, and student accounts. You can come get your career cards here. The Student Success Center offers free counseling services and provides students with academic assistance. You can also find help here with our writing specialist. The Student Diversity Center supports students from traditionally underrepresented backgrounds and promotes inclusive community on campus. It is a great community space where you can meet new people and study. The Diversity Center also offers leadership workshops and hosts multicultural events. These events bring students together across all programs. If you're feeling hungry, you can pick up freshly prepared, locally sourced food at our on-campus dining option, Fresh Plate. The cafe also has coffee, tea, smoothies, and more. This is the bookstore on campus. Medical students can get their Koo gear and occasionally even WCU's famous Koo rolled cheese. Our community engagement office helps students get involved in the greater Spokane community. They also run the campus pantry, where students are able to access fresh produce and dried goods they need at no cost. Up next is our student leadership and involvement office, which helps coordinate student activities and supports student leadership from each program on campus. We also have 35 plus registered student organizations and student interest groups on campus. A few are, Asian and Pacific Islander Medical Student Association, LGBTIQ Plus Health, Medical Spanish Interest Group, WSU American Medical Women's Association, Student National Medical Association, and WSU Students for Community Health. Here we are on the second floor of SAC. Here you'll find our main classroom, SAC 241. Medical students have their large group sessions and presentations here. This classroom utilizes advanced technology and movable furniture, giving the classroom the ability to quickly transform the space. From lecture, to open, to team-based formats, all within an hour. On the third floor of SAC, you'll find one of our medical student lounges full of quiet spaces to study, as well as areas to socialize with other students. This lounge also includes whiteboard tables, lockers, computers, and even a kitchen. There is also an additional lounge in the basement of SAC with similar amenities and a quieter feel. The campus library spans across the second and third floors of SAC. Here you can find study rooms, printing services, whiteboards, computer access, as well as librarians who are available to help. On the fourth and fifth floors of SAC, you'll find the offices for our College of Medicine, Student Affairs, Curriculum and Assessment, graduate medical education, and administration teams, including the Dean's Suite. Let's head to another building that medical students spend a lot of time in, the Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Science Building, otherwise known as PBS. Our anatomy lab lies in the PBS basement where changing rooms and storage lockers sit outside of the primary learning spaces. The anatomy lab is home to four lab spaces and 44 cadaver tables. Wireless microphones, smart boards, and touch screen monitors assist in small and large group learning. On the main floor are small group learning spaces, all with exceptionally well-integrated technology and whiteboard space, where medical students take part in their case-based learning as well as their Art and Practice of Medicine course. It also houses an 160-seat auditorium. In the Riverfront Office Park Building, you will find the Virtual Clinical Center, or VCC, which provides medical students with simulation-based training and includes 10 clinical exam rooms. The space hosts a variety of encounters, including formative clinical skills workshops with standardized patient encounters, procedural skills labs, objective structured clinical exams, and experiential-based labs to demonstrate critically ill patients. Next up, we have the Health Education and Research Building, otherwise known as HERB. Here you can find the Campus Security Office, where personnel is available 24-7. 
The College of Medicine's Nutrition and Exercise Physiology program is also housed within HERB, along with the new Center for Native American Health. The Center for Native American Health provides a culturally centered space for students who come from indigenous backgrounds along with their peers to celebrate their identity, culture, and shared vision to become healers of our future. The center also has a new indigenous interprofessional clinical simulation patient exam room intended to promote health equity understandings and practice. Lastly, here's our new fitness center. The center includes a brand new space with new equipment, showers, lockers, fitness programs, gender inclusive bathrooms, and 24-7 access for students. In addition to access to our fitness center on campus, students can also receive discounts for other gyms in the area with their Cougar cards.